That's right, but none other than Guardian Angel, Amu Kipenda, G Man Abuam. So we're gonna be having such an amazing time right here. This is gonna be a beginning of something amazing. So let's go. is right here for the launch of Seven Heaven Music. There you go, we have Sammy D and Derek coming in as well. Karibu Sana Jima and Aguanso. Are you excited about yes, the big we day? We are excited. Amazing. Excited, awesome, awesome. What are we expecting after the launch? Um, uh, after the launch? Yes. We, have, we actually have a song that is going live. Nimependa, you may hit uh, 2 million. Amazing. Oh, we hit 2 million. Yes. Yes. We may hit 2 million. Yes. We may hit 2 million. We may hit 2 million. Yes. We may hit 2 million. Yes. At around 8. Yes. We may hit 2 million. 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 Yes. 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 Nafraya sana sana because this is the Lord's doing. Yes. Yeah, we go up every time we should go more. Yes. 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 call the management of Seventh Heaven Music so that they can come and tell us why we are here today. Benjamin is my prefix, Otwal is my suffix, born again, um, Guardian Angels manager in Seventh Heaven. Our biggest export as a country is culture. It's only that it's never tabulated or ranked in the stock exchange market or anything of the sort, but it's the most influential thing that we ship out, right? And music makes majority of that culture. So, Seven Heaven going forward, the vision is how do we encapsulate, how do we make sure that this culture is well protected? How do we make sure that the ministry, because there's the gospel industry, which is ideally gospel is good news, right? Means good news. But the main DNA of Seven Heaven is praise and worship. That's the genre that you're pushing ideally. Then gospel is the, is the vehicle. So our intention is to ship our culture as far as possible and bring back the glory of gospel industry as where it was and better. So I'll let the lady do the honors. Good evening, everyone. Good evening again. Praise God. My journey 
all of you know how I met this wonderful man and I believed in his vision. I don't think I have ever believed in something, in a person, the way I believed in Guardian. From the f onset, I knew there was something in him that needed to be brought out. And I am so thankful to God that the whole world now knows who Guardian Angel is. Mimi nilianza kama a reggae artist. Na nilikuwa mpaka school nyama. Kwa sababu na miniani mimi ni jama flani wa dance hall mbaya na piga majani peke yake. Unajua? Eh si mimi siwezi kula nyama. So uh, nikapiga moja ya Kiswahili nikasikia hata imenibo. Nikasikia hisi kitu yangu. So nikarudi tena dance hall. Nikapiga ile eh? <laughs> So uh, usually those times we used to uh, it's still being done today but those times I used to uh, release a song and go for media tours. So, nilikuwa nimesha book media tours za stations zote. So, niko ready kuenda kupushi song yangu ya dancehall. Then, Muesha kan cheki kwa the first interview. Zingine nisha book the first interview. Akambia host wa producer. Oja maa kitoka hapo muambia nipigie. So, other producer liambia nipigie ni ka, hey, jagwa. Moja, because me ya tukwa tume wa ikumitu. Akanembia kijano. Kwanza li nianzia. <laughs> Wome imba nyimbo moja mzuri, juzi, ile napenda. Ile napenda ni gani? Zabi nda juwaje ile napenda. Akanembia, kwanu unavuta bangi? We, umewana nani ya ki succeed na yo vitu? Akanembia, ungekua hapa karibu nge kubuzaba makofi. Sasa, let that be the last interview. Ile nime kuwana na yo imbo. So, wimbo ni metuwa mpia bana. Ni meshabu kuma interview alafu. Unaniambia ni siende rena next. Unajua? But I listened to him. Nikaenda ni karudi nyuma kidogo. Alafu ni kakuja na ile na deka. Na si wote tunajua ile na deka vile kifama. Uh, without any further ado, ningependa ni iti meshumiwa jago wa unge kiasi. Oh, chipuka hapa. Ah, ndugu yangu chipukizi. Hata ni kuita mweshimi wa chipukizi. Naomba mweshimi wa chipukizi ya tufungulie kwanza. Alafu we utamualikishi. Eh, uta, 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 uta invite mweshi. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Itakuwaje. Itakuwaje majama. Pigieni Guardian Angel Makofi maze. Congratulations bro. Bro we ni mnoma. Si tunakuselebrate. Music yako ina to teach. Asubui mini kiamuka tukioga tunakusikiza. Wapi, Nduru, Shangwe, za my big brother, my friend. Mwesmi wa jago wa tafadhali. Wapi makofi ya mwes? Karibu sa. Uh, yeah, good evening. Good evening. Kwanza, nishukuru Guardian Angel kwa kunita hapa leo. Mirafiki yangu for a very long time. Na niseme, siku wanamjua sana. Na mepeana hiyo story hapa. Nilimuona siku moja kwa sababu mina penda sana kuwatch local content. Iwe 10 over 10, lazima ni watch kila Friday, niona industry naenda aji. Sasa siku moja, nikamuona KBC na kumbuka vizuri sana, ilikuwa Club One. Kijana kaingia, ni uyo na zile, hey, you wanna do ya, naruka, ruka, naruka, sijui, oh, rasta, sijui, nini, ja, sijui, never fail us. Siku wana namba yake. <laughs> Nikaambia Kariz, nikauliza, nilikuwa najua producer wa KBC. Nikaita Kariz, nikamuambia, Kariz, Uyo kijana kwa hapo eh, kwa sababu there's another song alikuwa mefanya na nilikuwa naipenda sana. Na mimi kwa sababu ni mzee kwa industry, mine either spot eh, musani kwa sababu, either jia image ama jia eh, sauti yake. So karizi nikamambia bu nipe namba ya uyo kijana, haka nipatia. Nika mpigia, nika muliza kijana. Umeimba vizuri juzi. Sasa tena umerudi sijui unavuta bangi, sijui ni nini. Na sasa mimi nataka kama kuna interview liku unafanya, nisikuone kwa interview ingine. Kwa sababu uko na talent, unaeza imba. Sasa the, the wakati ya litoka, siku muona kwa interview ingine kwa sababu miu fuata zote. The next time na muona, ametua na deka. I think I was the first person to call you. Nika kuambia sasa, iyo ndiyo line umechukua na muziki nafaa kuenda hivu. Kwa hivu, Guardian Angel, I wish you all the best. Mimi niko anytime. 
mimi niko any time nahitaji usaidizi wangu na msania yote na mimi najua tukishikana hivyo tutaenda bali thank you very much asante sana asante sana mheshi so ningependa ni te guardian angel la tu introduce wale wa se wenye wamekuwa signed up kwa ile bundo tuweze kuwaona si ndio misi juti misi juti kupata wokofu ngali kijana nimepata amani iliyo ya kweli amani ambayo si kupata kwingine Sami Jeni ngumu ku because nyi ndo mli mu introduce um ame introduce wa kwangu na na tags za TikTok so uh, i shared one of the clips with my manager and my wife nikawaambia nika suggest tu na nilikuwa najua watakataa kwa sababu already by the time tunapata video ya Sami Ji tulikuwa tumefanya 10 videos So uh, in the month of October I shot 10 videos in a, in one week. Wakati nimemaliza ku shoot videos huyo director sasa tumemalizana tunajua kazi imekuwa safi asante director. So nika share na team kwa sababu najua tuko na ile structure tumepanga hilo tunataka kufanya. Wakasema acha tujaribu. So we recorded the song after two days uh to come to Asamiji. Sami G amekuwa na favor sana. He's he's my first song ever to hit a million views in a week. Ever. Kwa karia yangu ya msanii a million views ni ngumu sana. So Sami G njo wakuone baba. Misi juti. Misi juti kupata wokovu. Ngali kijana ae nimepata amani ndio ya kweli amani ambayo sikupata kwingine Samiji akiekewa song yangu yoyote anaipiga mpaka mwisho Yule jamani mtoto yangu huyo Mea baba, au sio? Na ujitume kabisa. Na hao wanajua miss nanga mchezo ukipita mbele yangu vibaya unashikana na ukuta. Si hata wajui hiyo. Eh ukikaa mbaya kidogo, ai. Kwa hiyo mimi siwezi kukudanganya kwamba kuna kubembelezana kwa sababu mimi hakuna mtu alibembeleza mimi. Eh nimepambana tu wakanitukana nikaoa, wakanipiga huku na huku na sasa niko hapa na kupatia mko kwa hivyo ukicheza na mimi na kulipishia ile matusi yao kidogo <laughs> lazima usimame na injili samiji samiji tumekutag tukakurekodia ukaimba tukakupea views na tutakupea pesa alafu utugeuzie <laughs> ni lazima yani hapa tu bembe ni lazima usimame na injili mpaka nini mpaka mwisho unasikia kwa sababu sisi wote tumesimama hapa na mimi nawaambia ukweli tumesimama hapa leo sisi wote kwa sababu ya Sami Ji Sami Ji ameingia kwa industry na wimbo ya wenyewe na hii wimbo uh, nilitumiwa na Vicky Pondis um, I was uh, launching my first album in it was thanks for coming so when i was launching that album uh vicky can it to me one of the songs za wasanii ambao walikuwa wame record kwa hiyo studio so niliposikiza song nikamwambia hii ni song poa sana ni msanii mgani huyu kanaambia ni jamaa anaitwa Derek kama unaweza kumsaidia tu muweke angalau verse itakuwa poa so coincidentally sasa zile niko studio na record Derek akaingia amekuja na ndudhi amechafuka kamweka kamera hivi ya simu yangu kaambia wewe ndio Derek hata nilishtuka kumcheki kumbe ndio huyu Derek wewe ndio Derek eh unaona vile uko mnyenyekevu saa hii hauna kitu uko mchafu kwa maana hiyo unyenyekevu yako mpaka mwisho tukarili song ilikuwa one of the fav- ilikuwa actually my, the, my wife's favorite song in the vid- in the in the album nimependa nimependa penda nimependa Ni 
kabla ya Derek Nelia Kota ingine kijana Leona huko groove nimeenda meeting huko kijana ako hapo akufagia anafagia huko groove akaenda huko kando akauliza madam fulani anaitwa GT naweza gote tu guardian ni mgote tu GT akamwambia si mimi jamaa tu siwendo msalimie jana akakuja akanisalimia akaniekia simu akaniambia niko na somu nimerekoda hapa na nakausikiza kidogo pia ilikuwa kwa viki nilisikia hivi nikasikia huyo kijana ndio huyo nikapigia viki nikamwambia viki hizo niaje iko files wacha niweke verse my first video ya kulipa 100000 kwa sababu nilikuwa nimezoea ya za tatu kumi nalipa tena na shootiwa video tatu my first 100000 video ile kwa song ya kijana anaitwa Baraka anaishi kwangu weekend mzima anaenda anaenda mande akienda job na uimbe sio uende huko uanze ubaba ndio ndugu zako ndio hao naona vile wana shine wamepiga suit wao wamepiga kaunda shirt kile kwa saa hadi sta bado bado uko na nyota baraka si ndio align tu Align to Tayenda. Mzee, si ndio? When I was in form 4, someone came to school in the evening. Nikasikia naitwa kwa gate. Nilikuwa nasoma kwa shule yenye mimi ni head boy lakini mimi ni kama principal. Nikiamwa saa break nataka kwenda home naishia. Oh, niki, nikiamwa stack kusoma hii lesson nataka kwenda kukaa nje ya shule mpaka iishe nirudi. Naenda narudi. So Jamaa alikuja akaniita na tulikuwa na exams. So exam niliacha ikipeanwa, pepa inapeanwa, mi naitwa. Na hivyo ndo nilitoka nao jamaa. And that was my first ever song to record. Akanipeleka studio akanilipia fare. Na tukienda siezi hesabu how many times that guy told me. Siezi penda upitie ile kitu nimepitia ndio nifike hapa leo Ana ni pastor ana ni pastor wewe utaingia tutaingia tu lakini siezi penda upitie kile nilipitia ndio ufike mahali nimefika leo And that guy gave me an opportunity to record my first song ever I said nimesimama hapa leo And that guy is DK DK kam baba Dike sio mtoto yangu. Dike. Dike sio mtoto yangu. Dike alinifungulia njia. Huyo Dike. Alinifungulia njia. Na kuna vitu mingi sana Dike anaweza fanya. Anisikia, anifurahisha. Hata kama ni mimi ananifanyia. Lakini heshima yangu kwa Dike haijawahi kushuka hata siku moja. The reason why nimeleta DK hapa ni kwa sababu ile mbegu DK alipata kwangu ndio niko hapa siku ya leo. Hao watoi wangu nataka pia hao siku moja wasimame waseme tulipata njia tukasimama. Sio ati tulipata njia tukarudi nyuma. Mimi nimesimama hapa DK akiwa hapa anaweza kusema kitu. Ni sema huyu jamaa alinifungulia njia. Shukuru baba. Asante. Asante. I went to Vicky when I was giving up on music. And I told him, "Mimi nataka uni support. Alafu siku ile ndapata do yangu tukwe tukigawana." Vicky anataka do yangu. Anaambia, "Bro, wewe imba tu." So Vicky recorded 
seven of my hit songs bila miku mlipata bob viki kuja tu wakucheki bia wanasikia anga viki bondis nafa wakucheki bob do you huyo ni viki freeman bondis na yake kuona na talanta huyo anaanguka anga nayo kabisa huyo wewe anaanguka na yani wewe ni jamaa anaanguka na talanta yako mpaka mwisho bure zingine hadi nilikuwa nampigia usiku ni haja bro niko hapa na ni saa 3 ya usiku niko hapa naweza record kitu aniambia ingia tu tunapiga usiku tunaanza usiku viki umen support sana na ku appreciate mbele ya watu wote angalia hata mimi sasa nimepata watoto kupitia ile support ile ni game Nashukuru Vicky. Asante sana. Asante. 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 Ndio tu wasiseme hakuna pia wasichana kwa hii watu. Kwa sababu anayesema hakuna wasichana. Kuna mmoja yeye yeah, atuwezi sign yeye yeah, kwa sababu yeye yeah, akona kazi, yeye yeah, ni mtu wa familia. Lakini tunaweza kusimama na yeye kwa sababu anaimbia Mungu mzuri. Na tutaendelea kusimama na yeye kuandika tunaandika na yeye tuna record na yeye tuna shoot video hata moja nitatoa next week na hiyo wiki ingine na ingine na yeye nimeona ako sawa sana kwa kuimbia Mungu nataka pia yeye awasalimie ndio muone tu tume balance ni mbegu yangu ina balance yeye ndi bande moja kuja mso njo anaitwa Liz Tyler pigia yeye makofi tafadhali Liz Tyler ndo huyo Liz Tyler si ati kwamba yeye kwake anarudisha mkono lakini kuna day fulani nilikuwa ama baba gari yangu imevurutwa nilikuwa na kama CDs fulani ya blue hivi ako kama CDs nilinyang'anywa kwa njia kamevurutwa na hata wakati nililipa nikarudishiwa akana pia battery so nimerudishiwa nikatoe garage lakini siwezi katoa So wakati tu niko mishemisha zangu jamaa akanipigia simu ni haja bro ni muone unaenda kwa children's home. Kwa hiyo niliamua sasa hii gari kwa sababu yeye kunisaidia wacha niuze nipeane kwa children's home. Hiyo pesa nitapata. So husband wa msoka akanipigia. Eh bro ni haja ni muone unaenda kwa children's home wacha nikusupport na kitu. Akanitumia do nikaenda kwa children's home. Alafu baadaye akaniambia mimi naweza taka kukutembelea akanitembelea akakuja huko mkwangu pale Mombasa Road akaliangalia wewe vision yako ni nini akanisikiza nini wewe unaweza taka kufanya nini kimziki una unajua the next time that guy came to my house alikuja na ma box hizo box zimejaa nini equipment full ya studio So ile studio yangu ya Seven Heaven yote ni husband wao so alileta kwangu asubuhi na akaiset akaacha kama ame set up na akaenda akaliambia bro wewe ndo ufanye shughuli yako huyu ndo ali set up Seven Heaven for free mimi nataka mni support mimi ni support hao ni support tu nikikula Nikikula trending namba 1 vile nakula saa hii. Kwa ni tu una furaha. Hakuna haja tu nune, hakuna haja tujifanya tujaona. Bwana mbona tujifanya tujaona bwana? Nimekula trending wiki tatu hata wiki ya kwanza labda mngesema ah hii itapita tu haja tujifanye ipite, haikupita. Nikakula ya pili, tena bado mnalengesha wao. Oh. Tena nimekula ya tatu, tena bado Acha si usijifanye uoni tu tunakula. Sisi ndio sasa tunakula. Hai. Na tukuli tukibakisha tutakula sana. Vile watu wamesimama hapa siku ya leo hivi. Hiyo gospel anataka sasa ianze kukula design fulani. Yenye mjaona vile nakula. 
hiyo gospel na katuirudishe tena okay si tuirudishe sasa hii top sasa unajua top trending number one ni, ni gani ah unajua wale kama watu hawajui top trending number one ni gospel ah waking up waking up tatu safi si tatu tatu sa gospel Jesus wale tuwekia kilista hapo ya sisi na watu ya pale Tanzania na wapi tukakula top Eh Yaani wanaweka wasafi seven heaven Kwa hiyo ndugu zangu bana weka tick moji shot baba hope kid ako hapa generali jabidi top at the top niliambia mtu juzi Topa di top ndio mtu tu peke yake ayuko kwa TV na ni mzito bado. Huyu mtu, huyu mtu ni Katel. Aliwacha kazi lakini bado ni top kwa kazi. Na mimi nikutafuta unipe siri yako kwa Katel. Pololo kama baba. Kama. For the longest time, for more than 10 years or so. Industry ilikuwa ngani? Pololo. I love industry. <laughs> Mimi niko hapa leo bwana. Na hata wewe nimekutafuta tukakaa chini. Kaniambia endelea tu, endelea tu. Jimon, hivyo hivyo. Utaingia. Hebu ambie kama imeingia ama bado na yumba yumba. Ah, kuingia na imeingia. Kuingia nayo. <laughs> na pia ushukuru mama sana, unajua? Mama amesaidia pale sana. Ameongeza uzito. So mshukuru sana. The reason why gospel ilifika pale tulifika. Sometimes we have to force things to happen. You understand? Si wenye tunajua babu anasema nga we shall take it by what? By force. Na kumbuka while I was nilikuwa at that time nilikuwa naishi Kilimani na guardian alikuwa ananga church pale Buru mahali. Na pia mimi nilikuwa nda church Buru. So every now and then nilikuwa nampita kwa barabara ananisimamisha kwa barabara na niambia hey follow le wewe simama kidogo na simama na pakando tunaongea tukibonga jamaa ananiambia bwana shindishi ndio bwana shitinyira yani kwa kilio yani <laughs> yani kwa kilio anasema mazee kitu imekauka bwana imekataa ikubali naambia guardian one day itakubali you understand i know what it is to be a, a gospel musician without being an established name i know how it is to be a successful gospel musician and i know how it is to be somewhere haujuko wapi but what remains is what defines you who are you leo mimi nimesimama hapa kwa sababu ya bibia muka ni tukana paka muka joka Sasa hii ni mwaka ya ine, baada ya hiyo matusi ndio huyu mimi leo niko hapa na Sami Jina Derek ndio hao kwa sababu ya huyu dada ambaye alifanya mkanipasha wiki mzima tulikuwa tunapisha tunashindana hivi na mheshimiwa rais kutrend akiingia na mwana mimi narudi chini kidogo akitoka 50 narudi juu Sasa hiyo 50 imenisimamisha hapa leo nimekula suti safi nataka tu nijishukuru kwa sababu ya kukosa kusikia hiyo ushienzi yenu hiyo ushienzi yenu ndio ingeniua bibi yangu nataka kukushukuru sana mbele ya hizi kamera sasa wanakupenda siku hizo wanasema huyu amesaidia huyu kijana asante kwa sababu au amepata opportunity kwa sababu yako. Siku moja nataka niseme tu kitu moja ya yenye babangu na jiwataki niseme na hii namalizia. I went to a church to sing somewhere. And I was mistreated in that church. Nilienda kwa kanisa nikaingia kwanza pastor akasema elders wamesema huyo kijana asisimame kwa matabao. wakapishana 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 mpaka finally after kama 30 minutes pastor akakubali niimbe lakini wakati nimeingia hivi kuimba nimepiga chorus ya kwanza ya pili 
pastor amejama anataka kukuja mpaka aninyang'anye mic. Wafu yake anamwambia tulia bana una machoma huyo jamaa. Wakati pastor alichukua microphone nikimaliza kuimba hata kusema ati kumekuwa na msanii nini kama ile ku recognize msanii amekuja church akusema kitu akaendelea tu na nikachukia kanisa nikasema yani huu yani kwa bibi yangu inaweza fanya mpaka nikuwe mimi si staili kuimba wimbo wa Mungu kwa church tukaenda home na wife yangu nikamwambia unaona leo ndio siku yangu ya mwisho kukanyaka kwa kanisa nikasema i will never step into any church mambo ya kanisa na mimi imeishi hapo acha nipige maombi yangu kwa bedroom wife yangu aliendelea kwenda nga kanisa yao akienda na niacha hapo mimi nime kanisa and then one day i go into i was invited into a birthday and i met my father pastor babu na pasi akaniita sasa ile hakuna mtu ana believe kwa marriage yangu especially pia watumishi na pasi akaniambia mimi ndasimama na wewe mpaka ufanye harusi mpaka uoe huyu wanakutukana naye na mtasimama na akanichukua kwa chachi yake akaulizwa kwa nini unachukua huyu mtu kwa nini unafanya hivi lakini akakaza akasema mimi huyu kijana wangu muniue lakini anasimama hapa na mimi leo nimesimama hapa kwa injili na nimerudi kwa kanisa na kuimbia Mungu kwa sababu baba yangu alisimama na mimi. Guardian, this will go far. It will absolutely go far. Gift makes room. That's one. What you do with greatness is your business. So even as we talk about the gospel industry moving forward and coming back Let's push out this shallow stuff, the mediocrity, so that when we listen to the thing you produce or what you bring out, we can tell that you have spent time. Don't sing to us about your your stuff. Uh, bring content, and content comes from quiet time when you think, when you reason and concentrate. Uh, inspiration comes from isolation. So you cannot be inspired because you have to be first of all inspired before you can inspire us so that when we listen to what you say we want to listen to it I'd like us to pray if we can just uh, concentrate and come together and pray for this so let us pray Father in the name of Jesus we we stand before your presence there beginning of light is you there is nothing we do that was not started by you that succeeds the only thing that sees the light of day is what you started and then we take it to heart as a revelation and it triggers the elevation of many people we pray that this vision that guardian has founded together with his wife Esther that Lord this vision will not just only help the gospel industry in terms of cleaning the airwaves in terms of bringing us back to a place of influence but it will also structure strategies on how our artists can be able to live by the gospel the bible says that those that preach the gospel should live by the same gospel And if the DJ will earn from it and the master of ceremony will earn from it and the pastor will earn from it and the presenter on television earns from it there shouldn't be a reason why an artist should become a con or a liar or even mix themselves and lose their purpose to just succeed the truth is we can succeed in our purpose and where you have planted us so today i pray for seven heaven music that this label is going to go far it will not become a competition but it will become the only one standing that has helped the most upcoming 
and has influenced many to the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So today as a servant of God, I set this label apart and I decree that those that will be signed by it will not die premature. They will not die from depression. They will not sink down because of the critics of men and all the kind of warfare that happens with the influence. Lord, give them influence and give them favor with men and with God. That even the high and the might, when they listen to the things that will be sung, Lord, how would we have known that even someone like Jaguar would sit through the different stations and hear what is being played? And how many other people are like him and they have no opportunity to call us and say what you're singing is not correct. And so help us, take us back to a place of silence where we can think, where we can be inspired by you and then we can inspire the world. Let this ministry grow. Let this label expand. Let the artist signed in this particular label Go even global to the nations of the earth. I pray today from this stage and I ask with a lot of humility, give us a chance when a Kenyan artist will go to Nigeria and park a stadium and cause a traffic jam because a Kenyan musician came to Nigeria. Lord, remember us. Show us grace and show us favor. And then give us the patience to work and produce authentic stuff that is relevant to the world and the surroundings that we live in. We thank you and we bless you. And now we decree that the Seven Heaven Music Label is officially launched, officially launched in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And everybody shout it. <laughs> The cutting of this cake is a symbolic that seven heaven music label is officially launched. My word is expressed. Yeah, and in a furasa and a glory be to God. Ah, I'm so excited. Yeah, Miss Easy explained, but I'm so, 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 so excited. I bless the Lord for this uh, place, Malemi to finish up. I mean, it is by His grace. Yeah. Let's give my house. So I'm, I'm proud to be a new mother uh -huh. at my age. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. despite everything, uh -huh. and uh, awesome. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a good mother, so they are they are under good care. Gospel in Arudi, please be sure. In Arudi, now as we are doing, we are genuinely for God. Teamwork, you are the way to go. So right now, we are celebrating new kids in the block. Samiji, they also have a couple of blocks. Central Sabato, Samiji, and Melafit. Kwa hiyo raha yangu ama wakati ambapo nitaona kwamba Derek sasa anaweza kuendesha gari lake na kuishi kwa nyumba yake Samiji yako na gari lake na nyumba yake na anaweza kuji sustain musically hapo sasa nda feel nime succeed na sasa naweza kusonga kando kidogo ama ninge kwa biashara nyingine niache sasa vijana wapaye yeah.